This tutorial will show you how to enable RSS feeds for your notifications. RSS feeds allow you to quickly access a historical record of notifications from NagiSXi using your favorite RSS reader. Now in order to install and enable RSS feeds in NagiSXi, you're going to need to download a component for NagiSXi from the Nagios Exchange website. That component is the NagiSXi RSS notification component. Uh, you can very easily download and save this component to your PC or your local workstation. Once you've done that, you need to install it by going to the admin menu and then clicking on the manage component screen. So once you're in that screen, you're going to browse for the component zip file that you downloaded and upload that component. Once the component gets installed, you'll find the RSS notifications component in the list. The first thing you're going to need to do to enable this is click the edit settings button. You'll want to make sure that the enable integration checkbox is checked and click apply settings. Once you've done that, you've now enabled RSS notifications for all the users that you've set up in Nagios XI. Now each user will have their own individual RSS notification feed. They're able to enable RSS notifications for their account and customize the feed based on their own preferences. We can go into the current account that I'm logged in as right now which is Nagios Admin and take a look at the notification options that are now available. Under the notification methods screen for each user, uh, each user will have a new RSS notification method and they can enable RSS notifications for themselves. Users are also able to customize the look or content of their RSS feed simply by selecting notification messages link and selecting the RSS tab. This screen allows them to customize the content of both title and description of host and service alerts that appear in their RSS feed. So they're able to personalize what their RSS feed looks like. These settings are essentially on a per user basis so each user can have their own personal RSS feed format. To see your RSS feed, simply select the Notification Methods link, select the RSS tab, and click the View Your Personal Feed link. This will open up your own RSS feed for notifications that you have received. Now when you initially enable RSS notifications in Nagios XI, your RSS list is going to be empty. It will start to populate as you receive new host and service notifications. This screen already shows some host and service notifications in my feed because I've already had this enabled for a while. You can see in this list uh, the most recent list of host and service alerts that have gone out to my particular user account. If you click on the title of a particular item in your RSS feed, it will redirect you into Nagios XI to the particular host or service detail screen so you can see what's going on and get some more information about a problem. Now, if you aren't authenticated yet, it's going to ask you for credentials. If you are already authenticated, which I am, it'll direct you directly to the screen. So it's a very easy way of uh, kind of digging into the problem and see what's going on. Those are the basics of RSS notifications. It's very easy to enable these in Nagios XI, a very powerful way of integrating your personal notification information into both your RSS reader and external applications. Make sure to check out the Nagios library for more video tutorials and training options.